and make sure you moisturize. Very important. Moisturizing is... Oh! Did you get it? I don't know. No, I don't think so. We almost clapped at the same time. All right, let's watch this. Nobody wants to hear about me talking about bag acne. Okay. Okay, should we watch the new Complex Con with, with Andrew? It's, it's wavy, man. Yeah, let's do it. What's Complex Con? Complex Con is a convention that I told Andrew to go to. Okay. And I was going to meet him there. And then we never even saw each other there because... <laughs> Because you didn't And go. I didn't even No, I did go and I couldn't even film it because there was no there was, internet. There was no internet connection there. So not only make a YouTube video. The, not only did I not see Andrew, I also didn't even get to film it. Why don't you make YouTube videos like that? Like just make YouTube videos Hassan in the field. I should do that. That's a good that's a good that's a good that's a good Hassan in the field. Yeah, a hostile environment. And uh, yeah, yeah, exactly. Because I feel like you could do different content. Yeah. That's a great idea. He needs chat for the content. He relies on us. It's not that I need chat for the content because I definitely don't. I used to make content without the chat and it was probably even better. Ultimately, it's just that I can't live without chat. I also can't. I have to be like, I literally, I, I just, I have a parasocial relationship with my community where I like, I have to be around my community for eight to 10 hours a day or else it just doesn't feel great. I'm not even kidding. It's kind of sad. It's unhealthy. Yeah. But how's Ellen that? That's unhealthy. Yeah, it's not healthy. It's, it's, it is like Venom. Chatter, you are right. It is exactly like Venom. I mean, I'm also unhealthy. I'm in your Discord all the time. Yeah, dude. See, it's like, it's very, it's very fun. It's like, you know, it's awesome. Yeah. All right, let's watch this. Let's watch I'm gonna, the fucking In 10 movie. minutes, I'm going to go take a meeting. Man, it's a vibe. I love the fact that like a lot of up and coming brands can connect with established brands and then um, sell products and pay their phone bill. Okay, what about the culture? Love the culture. The culture is the culture. The culture runs the world right now. After oh my God. You guys asked me what the complex con is and i literally forgot the answer 11 times when you're here my adhd acts up dude it gets even worse than it normally is i, know. I ruined all your shit. dude it's fun no it's great it's wonderful it's fun um okay complex con is complex magazines convention where they literally buy out the uh the irvine convention center and basically they allow uh or they get paid to let fashion brands come and like build little things there and you know show their product uh, and that's it. It's for like sneakerheads. It's for fashion brands or not Irvine, Long Beach. Sorry. And I had a bunch of my friends that were also there, like Kai Lumiere, uh, you know, Miggy, uh, Reconstruct, like they were all there. Even my friend Dan Hoban had a booth, uh, for Satire. Yeah, I like Dan. Yeah, it is in Long Beach. Yes. And it was, light? why? We are looking like shit. I think it looks better now. Show, show us. Show, show us. us. Okay. God, we just look like a couple of turds. Dude, this room doesn't have good lighting. It's just not going to be good, no matter right, what. Fuck it. it was, this is how we look. Right, look. Let's go back. I'm distracted. Sorry. You're doing the thing. I know. I'm doing the 80. feel like you are the culture. In some ways, but being humble is also extremely the move right now. It bit me in the ass previously when I haven't been as humble. So I'm going to just humble it for the rest of my life now. How? People get um, intimidated by confidence and success. So help people and be humble. And then you'll survive this crazy world that is life. I love I, I love the awkward silence. If you only get interviewed by a, a wavy production crew like yourself, you look create a lot of awkward silences, so it exposes the real personality of individuals. I love that shit. Yeah. It's fucking wavy. Woo! Lamborghini lifestyle, baby. Money talk, baby. The homie Kanye just left. You know what it is with Drake. That's Aubrey to me. I'm on some Lamborghini shit. Lamborghini bitch. With the Lamborghini doors on the green green whip. <laughs> People say we wouldn't be shit. You ever seen a Lambo bought with twenty dollars in reparations? Uhuru Lamborghini, baby. Goddamn, ba. What? Say goddamn, ba. Goddamn, ba. Goddamn, ba. And line long, boy. Goddamn, ba. Shit, ba. I right, went inside, right? God ain't got me awful out of that, uh, that right there, right? Okay, got that on, right? Uh, and I put that on top of the, uh, yeah. So I was in there showing them all my spectacular drip. My man said, call my sailor device. So, bam, hello, say less. <laughs> so, you know, uh, got the wristband for my mans and then acquired that. Uh, took that there, uh, put it on my man. Right here, uh, no man left behind, you feel me? Let go. My boy's a real one, bro. Goddamn, bye. It's a fellow friend of yours? I said, what regional accent is this? Someone was saying when we watched the when we watched the teaser, someone said Atlanta. Is this Atlanta? ATL? Is this ATL? Atlanta? The trapper, that's not my friend. Trappers are not. Someone said Brooklyn. No, it's definitely not Brooklyn, dude. What the do you mean? <laughs> said Brooklyn? That's where black people live, right? <laughs>
friends, they're associates and business partners. Okay, and sometimes co-defendants, but it's not if you do it. Maybe that's just how he talks. No, that is how he talks, but it's a very specific, it's a very specific regional dialect. That's what I'm asking. Right, friends Atlanta. go funny. That trapper, he bought that money. <laughs> Got them, boy. Sheet. What are you gonna do when you get back inside? Get me some food and give it to you. Cause you look hungry. <laughs> Got them, boy. Got them, boy. I'm making them seasick. Watch out. Waves on deck. Wave check. Take your hat off. Let me see your waves. He ain't got none. <laughs> Wave check. You hear that? That's the shore. That's like white noise right there. Like, shh. But they say ASR, whatever that shit is, that acronym, y'all know what it is. I don't ASMR. know, I don't care, I don't watch it. Okay, so hat is fresh, New York, a visor, LA, shirt, bargain bin. Uh, these are like 10 years old from... Bro, every NFT dude literally looks like CIA dad on the weekend. Other than the visor and the crazy like NFT thing, like this fit right here, the cargo pants and the t-shirt tucked in, Straight up is just like, what's up, dude? Yeah, I, uh, yeah, I, I, I did some stuff at Blackwater when I worked there. It's not a big deal. I, I no longer do stuff like that anymore. You know, I'm, I don't have, I can't let you know what I did. He's just dressed like a, he's just like a defense contractor on the weekend. Um, South Florida, and these are from LA. Your whole shit's dripped out. Thanks, bro. Uh, my name is Survivor Man, spelled like server, S E R V I V E R, uh, an Anon artist that's doing some NFT stuff. What's the most you ever made off an NFT? Uh, I have a I have a V friend that I bought on the first day, so that's worth like ten ETH now. How much money is that? Oh, V friend, it's the Gary V shit. Ew, dude. Ew, 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 ew. Like forty thousand dollars. What the heck is an NFT? So an NFT is a non-fungible token, and it's basically a fancy word for digital art. And digital art is changing now because you can actually own it, and it's all about being written onto the blockchain. And so now digital art can live on permanently, forever. I don't know how many sort of uh, did pick million dollars, I swear to God. Really? I swear to God, bro, last week the homie hit That's for like Phoenix a mil flexing. sum on a dick pic NFT. I don't know like the exact details of who he sent it or whatever, but yeah, he got a million dollars for a dick pic NFT. Who purchased the NFT? Just, I, don't, I don't know, anonymous, you know what I mean? Maybe it is, I don't know, he, maybe, he probably do know. For a million dollars, you gotta know who sold it, you know what I mean? NFTs and Gary V counting cheese. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. You're watching Channel 5 Action News. We're here right now live at the Complex Con in Long Beach, California. We're going to talk to some artists, influencers, leaders, followers, networkers, marketers, rappers, fashion designers, fashion purchasers, producers, engineers to figure out what the hell's going on and what's so complex about this con. Come on, guys. Let's go. I was on No Jumper for 500 guys. No, 50 guys in one night. 500 total in my lifetime. Yeah. So for those who don't know, can you tell us your name and what you're doing out here? Hi, my name is Kazumi and I am trying to pay rent um, by advertising my own. Um, you know, if you're comfortable selling your assets, just like everything else, if you have those assets, sell it. How'd you get started doing I used to have this slave in college that would like let me put stuff in his dick hole. <laughs> How much did he pay you? Um, it was 300 at the time, but it was more of like an experience. So I just felt like this is my calling during COVID. You should do it. You should try it. Yeah, you probably look good. Okay, maybe naked. What if you did that but naked? If I interviewed people butt naked? Yeah, that could be kinky. But only for Patreon. I'll subscribe. Hell yeah. Honestly, why can't sluts build a world? Hey yo, Channel 5. I'm over here at Complex Con. I'm barely alive. Trying to strive and prosper like ASAP. Where that AIDS at? What? I'm doing No Not November right now, though. I was watching um, uh, breastfeeding videos on YouTube. That's how bad How the f was this guy able to live stream, dude? Huh? Huh? I don't understand. This guy was able to stream, but I couldn't? What the f Anyway, her name is Harvard Asian Dropout. Oh, she went to Harvard? That's crazy. His job is live streamer. He isn't live streaming at the moment. It's gotten. How come you're doing No Nut November? It's a it's a big time suck, you know, because like you're trying to figure out what video to watch, and then four hours later, a <laughs> hundred tabs open. You're like, all right. I used to be really strong with that shit. I used to only jerk off like once a week, but somewhere along the way, I kind of started slipping. I remember back in the day when I was at my horniest, I, I left like Friday night church service, like the middle of worship. I went to the um, bathroom and just, you know. Just sprayed that whole toilet seat down. My name is Tevin Bailey. Tyler Bailey. We're the Bailey twins. Bailey twins.
Are we taking over? I mean, yeah, we, we are. We're close enough to clown. We're so. going to catch up at this point. Oh, what's the biggest difference between y'all? Taste and females. I'm more on the thicker side, I would say. And he's more on the petite or slim thick. You know. No, I, hey, I'm like, throw it back. I'll catch I, I've seen him do a throw lot. Back. I'll catch you. With some thickness, <laughs> dog. Not, what's up, dude? What's good, G? How are we doing? This is my twin tavern right here, right? All right. See, well, is, um, I just finished this one over here since he just left me over there, guys. But uh, yeah, any other questions you got? I don't know. I don't know what's going on. Uh, mad gummies. What are we talking about over here? What? Oh, man. Stay in your interview, whoa. dog. Whoa, whoa. Yeah. Stay in your interview. Stay in your interview. Whoa, whoa. Okay. I'll talk. All right. So anyway, so is that a 7 Eleven drip? Is that, are they wearing, are they wearing 7 Eleven like work clothes, dude? That's awesome. I respect that. What do you want to talk about? But anyway, like I was saying, so we came to the parents' so rude. Today. But I was on the shoes so. and how nice these were. I'm going to get the high tops tomorrow, tomorrow so them sleeves is even crazier. Uh, the ones with the teeth. Right? Four eyes, teeth, uh, and nose. I don't actually know what you're talking about, but I hope you get the high tops This tomorrow. right here, I would wear. And now I'm 25, and I would still wear this. That's creativity. When I first saw it, my childhood came back to me, you know? So I'm a kid again, you know? I got a toy dress. Why are you saying they were for Amaranth? Oh, does Amaranth own a 7-Eleven? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I what does it mean to drip? Drip? This right here? You see that? What is drip? Though? Work uniform, right? But would you wear this to work? Or the way I, the whole style, the whole, this, the vibe of it all, would you show it to work like this? You work at 7-Eleven? I don't. I'm a model, actor, creative with my twin right here. What's up, Doc? What's up? I don't know. You just sound like you got a lot of information and knowledge. Uh, I got a few things. I can tell you this. Everything that's going on, both politically, globally, is all planned. Thank you, bro. I appreciate it. Have a good one, dude. Right, Thank you. My wife. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. Can you tell us about your face mask? She got it for me. And, uh, yeah, I like it. I, I, I like it a lot. I got two masks today, but uh, this one's my, this one's getting more. Uh, the men like it more than the girls do. Why'd you get that for him? Why not? <laughs> Was it sort of like you're not really doing this enough? Like, <laughs> I'm going to get this for you so that every time you see yourself in the mirror, you're like, thinking about the fact that you need to do that more often? No, I'm like, he's so good at it. I'm like, I want everyone to like, try it. Like go, like I said, baby, go. Get it what? Like having girls sit on his face. You know, I just, I, 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 I give it TLC, you know, that tender love and care. Do you apply that elsewhere in your life? Like, do you have a business or like a passion? No business, uh, passion. Yeah, no, I'd say that's my passion. Yeah, that's good. I'd always say, sit on my, come sit on my face, baby. I see you also have an interesting shirt. Yeah. Who's that? Who's that? This is, uh, this is from, this is some Russian lady. Yeah, she paints water, like erotic yeah. watercolors. What's up? Sit on my face. How do you feel? What the f is up? Sit on my face. How do you feel about eating? What? <laughs> Dude, you're laughing. Sit on my face. I think that maybe he saw your mask and he thought that, you know, maybe he could, he could be one of the people that... I mean, if he has a pussy, yeah. But my passion is pussy not, or pussy eating, not uh, ass eating or whatever the fuck he has. I don't know. Dude, I respect the f***ing shit out of you. What's your name? Nate. Do you have any nicknames? Uh, no. Do you want one? Normally, I have a lot of feedback in videos like this and I'm just flabbergasted. Like, I, I got straight up nothing, dude. I mean, these guys are... California is just built-in content, bro. I swear to God. It's just built-in content across the board. Just everyone is... Especially Complex Con. Sure. Nate Duck. Cool. Do you have any money? Yeah. How much? Not a lot. Like, how much are we talking? Like, 150. How much are the Kerwin shoes? I think, like, 180. So you gotta get 30 more bucks? Mm-hmm. What's the plan? Uh, try to get 30 more bucks. You have any strategy for that? Uh, not really. What's your cash app? I don't have one. I have Venmo though. What grade are you in? Uh, twelfth. You almost made it. Mhm. Mm you thinking you're gonna go to college or what? Uh, I'm gonna do a gap year. Are you gonna go to Europe? No. Thailand? No. You gonna get an apartment in downtown LA and just smoke Halloween? Uh, yeah. Seriously? Sure. What's your budget for an apartment? I don't know. Okay, man. Well, you have a bright future. Thank you. Shout out Nate Dog. I'll see you in there, bro. Yeah, so Silky basically is a part of our brand. Uh, it is basically an emotional support hey, companion almost. So they come in like different ages? Ages, sizes, skin color, different tones, different flavors, uh, different genitals. He, she, they, their, uh, um, uh, because we're also going to be doing ones 
that are uh, in wheelchairs, small people. We're doing animals. We're doing a whole silky universe. It is actually an emotional companion. It's an emotional spirit. It's there to actually uplift your emotional intelligence. Yeah, yeah, really and truly. We're making history and her story. Nice. So uh, what's going on right here? We got a rainbow. We got a creature. You want to sit down or something? Back here, back here, back here. Okay. I'm not going to lie, I'm feeling really loved right here. Well, you are very loved right here. <laughs> Sorry. Yo, would you get in a creature suit if I have a whole creature suit? Yeah, I would do that. <laughs> I got too much fucking shit on me. <laughs> I'm a silky now. You're a silky? Yes. You're just a blue monster, that's what you are. I'm here to f silkies. <laughs> I have an inquiry. When you use the bathroom, are your bowels blue? Nah. Well. What's up, what's your name? Kevin. This might be the most insane video they've ever done. I can't even. Oh my God, Ryan Grimm. I'm Bradford. Uh, what are you doing here today? I'm promoting Father Steve. Okay, what's he do? We're selling loot boxes. We have mice. We we have the trading card game. We have we have every we have everything here. I, I saw like like this weird stand with like dinosaurs with like butterflies on it. I thought it was kind of weird, but uh, I didn't think it was bad. I just thought it was weird. I absolutely love it here. Seeing all the brands, uh, taking pictures with people, uh, pr promoting myself too. <laughs> Sounds like you're uh, you're going up. Your clouds going up. Um, I actually uh, was on a documentary uh, called Tallest Teens. And uh, wait, what? I'm seven foot two. I'm the Guinness World Record holder for tallest teenager in 2016. What if your dream of slam dunking as a pro? I do believe that I have the potential to be in the NBA. Could be over if you continue to grow. I actually have back problems because I'm this height. Yeah, I saw the basketball court, but uh, I'm trying to stay as far away from that as possible. That's just not my uh, that's not my style. But did you know if you like make the basket, like you'll make like 20k? 20k. Uh, Phil One of the Jesse Hassan trigger warning dunking look away. How dare you dude? I'm kind of nervous. I believe in you, bro. I think, you, I think you're gonna do great. I don't know. I'm wearing a suit, so I can't really extend my arms that far, so I don't know. Oh shit. We got the white young man. Oh my God, he played basketball. He's just all height, dude. That is the worst form I've ever seen. Oh my God, white Yao Ming. Well, at least Yao Ming has the capacity to like shoot properly. What was that? He th threw that up like this, bro. He, what the? F no! Here's some toilet paper. Wipe your ass. It's luxurious. Thank you. They gave me toilet paper to wipe my ass. Yo, so uh, this nice Ferris Hill. Ferris wheel uh, cannot be ridden by nobody. The old man will not let me ride it, nor anybody. It's just for show. My mama always told me about that wall. And I said, okay, ma, I just gonna put my feet in. I'm sorry, ma, I got right in that wall. I ain't never noticed I was going deep in. Hey, what are you in line for right now? In line? I believe Mac DeMarco. Is Mac DeMarco performing in this cardboard castle? I don't have no idea. That's what I was told, so that's what I'm doing. What if he's not? Then uh, we'll see what happens, honestly. What was her name? I'm Joe. You drove out here for this? Yeah, pretty much. Me and me and the homie did. Oh, nice. Oh, man. How you doing in school right now? I was doing pretty solid in class. And then after the switch to online, I feel like it's just harder and different. You're not cheating? I mean... The normal amount, like on bro, I swear to God, we just like we destroyed an entire generation. Sometimes I just I can't help but notice, you know. And there's kind of nothing else that we could do. I mean, most of you are like that, dude. Homework. Let's <laughs> get out and see what we find. I've been doing this for about like I don't know, twelve years now. So I feel a bit old. I feel a bit like an uncle now. You know what I'm saying? Feels good. It's also a bit depressing. I don't know what the Mac DeMarco is. What is that? I'm a lot older than I used to be, but also younger than I will be soon. That's why I love Maximus. He's so philosophical. <laughs> no. 
Love is like, like a flower. Okay, yeah, that was a good one to get. <laughs> Damn, He's Ethan's buddy. Let it go. Let it go. Bro. Someone say he's the human embodiment of a cigarette. Oh shit! First of all, that's uh, uh, these are the zoomer, these are the hipster zoomers. Okay, this is Curve and Frost or whatever, isn't it? And uh, th these are the ass pizza kids. But what's actually really cool is not Curve and Frost, but this homie back here is wearing a satire hat, dude. He has a satire hat on. Let's go! Shouts out to Dan Hoban, one of my college buddies. That's his brand. And he's wearing the brand's hat. We were there, yeah, but we couldn't link up because nothing, no, like my phone wasn't working. Me and Will went there and we weren't able to connect with them at all because I was like texting him and it was just like, he was texting me back every time I like got into a pocket of space and it... <sighs> anyway. Yo, what's up, Joe, 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 Joe. Oh, 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 no, no, no. It's not that much. Is that, is that... What? What did he say? Oh, 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 oh. Coming, bro. Yo, what's up, Kerwin? Chill, chill, chill. Oh, 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 no, no, no. It's not that vibe. It's not, it's not the vibe. It's not that vibe, bro. <laughs> no. Hey, what's up, Kerwin? Yo, that is so. That's an L, dude. Yeah, okay. Yeah, they would be like that. They would be like that. What a bunch of little. All these little rich kids from New York that like all got together. That's really fucked up. That was weird as fuck, dude. How dare you? That's fucked up. L. Gatekeeping hipsters? Yeah, I mean they're they've fallen off big time. Pretty good. Erwin does one interview with Post Malone and thinks he's too good for Channel Five. I'm just saying that's like that's L, straight up. Facts. The whole ass piece of crew is just rich kids wearing shitty fashion. I mean, there's some like chill dudes. I think Lucas Sabat is all right. I mean, I think he's cool. At least he was very nice when I met him. But that was really whack. What he just did there. That was really pretentious. Good, pretty good. I'm sorry about earlier. How you doing though? I'm, I'm actually doing great. I found this job on Craigslist. We're keeping it hundred <laughs> with you. Uh, I'm not Kerwin Frost, as you can see, uh, but I'm grateful for the opportunity. This suit is hot as. F Jesus walked on water, so I could drip on you niggas. Hey, gotta wash on water, watch me drip, nigga. Jesus walked on water, so I could drip on these niggas. I love Channel Five, man. I watch y'all all the time. Shouts out Channel Five. We innovators. We start stuff. We don't follow shit. That's why we're leaders. I own, a I own a company called Fuck You Want right now. Me and my brother started that. We're about to get sent to Virginia. <laughs> Leader, non-follower, CEO. That's so, yo. That's we get sent to the Navy, you feel me? And when I was out there, we started about the company. Now we're a million dollar company. I'm doing that shit. I don't give a fuck about the cloud. Everything we're doing, I'm living it. And that's it. Hey, yo, have you seen this hair design everywhere? Have you seen it on the internet, though? Ask everybody where they got that shit from. Tell them where it started. They're gonna look at me, you heard? I like the hair, the hair looks sick. Oh, thank you, bro. Yeah, I appreciate it. It used to be purple. Okay, that's hard. Oh, where'd you get the idea for it? For the hair? Um, I don't, it was just Halloween. So yeah, we met some dude who said he invented the spider web. Oh, I know what you're talking about. I had a TikTok that blew up about my hair and he's like, oh, this kid's a No way. <laughs> I was like, I, I don't know, he's hard. They don't own that shit, but. <laughs> I don't know, he's hard. <laughs> Dude, what the? F oh, dude, I love Cloud Goblins. Actually, the best, the greatest type of human being to ever exist. I swear to God, these are just so awesome. Yeah, no, it's hard. My friend called me the albino Dennis Rodman. Like Cloud Goblins on the up and up are actually great content. And then when you become a Cloud Goblin like Curve and Frost, then you become like you know you you become like the actual Cloud Tyrant. In which case, like you then are no longer chill. That was really. That really pissed me off what he just did there. Anyway, yeah, clout. <laughs> when you when you go from clout goblin to clout baron, dude, you're you have a clout serfdom and you think you're hot shit. Can you ball? Uh, not really. I'm working on a basketball court in uh, St. Louis. Oh, for real? Oh, I love basketball. That's a sick shirt. Where'd you uh, where'd you get it from? My friend Austin. Ass Pizza. Ass Pizza? Yo, yeah, yeah. Uh, Ass Pizza. Uh, he's dope. The brand name is Ass Pizza. I think like he just. And just put it together some shit like that right so do you like ass pizza mm-hmm you give him a shout out shout out ass pizza who's ass pizza i don't know you just heard of him mm -hmm. i don't know why you wasting your energy that's the that's the ass pizza dude hey man why, why? i just finished eating about to get some head relax he took a trip to the woods near the farm 
Where I'm humping my chick outside, getting mosquito bits on my arm. My name is Austin. People know me as Ass Pizza. Uh, I make clothes. Why do they call you Ass Pizza? That's just uh, my Instagram name that I have for a long time, and now I'm just stuck with it for life. I don't like to associate it with pizza or ass. You don't like pizza? Pizza's delicious. Do you like? Were these micro celebrities? It's like fashion kids from New York, dude. They're they're all friends with like really rich. Uh, <laughs> okay, here's the thing. Those kids, including like Kerwin Frost and whatever, they're all friends. Uh, they're like all fashion kids from. They're all fashion kids from New York. They were cool in like 2014, 2015, when they were like literally children. Okay, half of their dads are like venture capitalists. Half of their dads are stockbrokers. You are too old to know this shit, bro. I mean, okay, I'm talking about 2014. Suck my nice bathroom. Okay, they're like they're old too now. They're no longer like as young and popping as uh, they were. So I was like 25. Okay, shut up. Um, they're cool for uh millennials, but yeah, they're they're the children of like. Bro, I hate it when I'm like I hate it when I'm 30, and then all of a sudden everyone magically is like, oh yeah, dude, you're 30, which means like you've always been 30. Hey, dumbass. Like, I wasn't 38 years ago. Okay, I was 22 at some point. You dumb 22-year-old bitch. Okay? Yeah, well, they were like... Yeah, I know Luca's parents were designers for big fashion houses. It's all like... It's a collection of, like, New York kids. It's a collection of New York kids that are... Some of them are rich. Some of them are poor. They're all like... I don't know. They're all like charter school kids, private school kids. Um, I was wearing... I mean, I have one of their shorts. Except the guy's two years older than Hassan, and I never hear anybody calling him an old man. Yeah, but that's because, like, you know, his audience is not comprised of brain broken Zoomers who, like, salivated every. Yeah, this is what he looked like when he was blowing up. Yeah, he was 16 in 2014. Um, anyway, th this is, this is, and then they got, I mean, basically, they all got friends. They got friends with, like, the Kardashian clan type of thing. You know what I mean? Um, and it's all like, uh, New York, uh, film school students. Like they go, they went to like a special school or some shit for, for arty kids, for artistic kids. And they all, I mean, they, he would make like, I don't know. He would just like fucking spray paint Supreme or some shit. I don't fucking know. <sighs> anyway. Um, I said artistic kids, not autistic. Kids, bro. Anyway. Uh, why are you being a hater, bro? Ass pizza clothes are where you get. I mean, I own, uh, I own ass pizza merch. I got like, it is micro, micro influencer clout goblins. 100% though. It's true. And, and now I'm like really annoyed because of the way that Kerb and Frost, uh, uh treated Andrew and, and Saddam. Like that's really up. Gas. Yeah. I love ass. Can you tell us about your, your face tattoo? You know, one day I just said, it, man, I'm gonna get the face that I didn't really think about it. I was at a point where I was just like, fuck it, man, you know, and it just like didn't feel part of this world, so I was like, I'll just get a face that, you know. And I told my mom, Oh, the, it, the thing I was thinking of is spaghetti boys, sorry. And I think they broke up or something. I had, I don't have an ass piece of merch, I have spaghetti boys merch. It's temporary. The craziest thing I ever done was not pull out. Do you have a child? I'm about to. Woo! Congratulations, that's hard, bro. I go by Holy Barber, if anybody wants to follow me on Instagram. Yeah, it's like, I wouldn't tell anyone to go get a fucking face that, you know? It's just like, I feel like nowadays, like, you could still get a job and shit, you know? Like, I feel like no one actually really fucking cares about it, so. All right, yeah. I gotta handle something later, but uh, it's fine. What's going on? Just this guy talking shit, man. You know, I deal with haters every day, but it just, fuck it. I understand, bro, you know? I know that I started a lot of this shit, you know, but I'm just a humble, nice guy, you know. I really don't give a fuck about it. <laughs> this is exactly what it is, by the way. This is quite literally like, this is why. You know, it's all the little zoomers in my chat that are like, yo, dude, what the f why are you talking shit? Here, watch it. There's a lot of kids here that are just sort of like willing to sacrifice themselves and everyone around them to get close to people like you. How does that make you feel? It's just like, you know, once you get here, man, it's like, 
that's it, you know? It's not what you think, man. You know, I just like cool shit, man, and it's like, I feel like I know what's cool, you know? And it's like, what I want This is internet lore I didn't know about? Yeah, there you go. Well, I'm here to explain it to you, and then people will yell at me for knowing specifically New York fashion Zoomer shit. Yes, I know. See, me and my friends, you know, I'm very grateful to have all my friends who also, like, you know, are on the same wavelength, you know? Like, I fuck with real shit, but I feel like everything is just so fake and, like, generic and like they're just trying to market this shit to like you know i don't know just some fake bullshit man i fuck with Kerwin shit and steve shit you know everything else they're trying to make a quick buck you know At what point do you think a brand goes from being like authentic and cool to like corny like what is that turnover point it all just comes when like you stop thinking about like what you want to bring into the world instead of like oh what's going to make the money you know if you're like making sick shit like the money's gonna come no matter what, so it's like, you can't stress over it, you know? I don't know, I just feel like people try way too hard and they just want fast shit, they're not thinking long term, you know? They're like, oh, what's popping now? Let's copy this guy. This is just New York shit, LA fashion is just a stupid law? Wait, I never said it's not. We were looking, at, we were just making fun of LA clout kitties and, and fashion kitties before. Like, straight up, we were just making fun of them. These just dudes happen to be LA, or, or New York fashion kids. <sighs> I mean, dude, this kid's been like brain broken since he was 16. Okay. That's probably why like since 2014, his brain has just been straight up broken by like, not, not like mainstream fame and mainstream success, but by, I don't know, being like homies with every celebrity and, and being in this weird, I feel like being in this weird space where he's like famous, but also not famous at all. Like normal people don't know anything about this person. Right. But he's like one of those like you. No, I'm the opposite of this. None of the celebrities know who the fuck I am, but I have more so a actual following under like 30 year olds. You know what I mean? If you're under the age of 30, you very likely have heard about me uh, as a news person, but definitely not a celebrity. Not a single celebrity knows who the fuck I am. Um, whereas, whereas he is like the exact opposite, the diametric opposite of what I'm talking about. Are you follow Aspies on IG? Yeah, I do. If you're told you're an icon at age 16, you probably don't grow into adulthood normally. Yeah, I mean, in a way, I feel bad. You are actually becoming mainstream lately. The fact that people in public are watching you. What do you mean people in public are watching me? Anyway, the point was that Hassan knows his fashion shit. These dudes were on the forefront of the fashion internet scene from like 2012, 2015 via Tumblr and the internet. These guys all really shaped the fashion internet culture and trending back brands like Rick and Raph that you guys all know today. Anyway, listen, my point was this. Okay, he, it's probably not good for your mental health if you're like launched into if you're launched into super success and a lot of fame, all of the all of these circles. But more importantly, what I was going to say is there are dudes where you're like, who the fuck is this guy? There's dudes with 16, 20 K followers, right? Or maybe now I guess 100 K followers where you're like, I've never heard of this person. And they are just a celebrity's friend. Okay, they are just a celebrity's friend. So that is half what these guys did, but also they, they do have, uh, they did, you know, make some interesting clothes. No, Aiden Ross is different. Aiden Ross is different. Aiden Ross is like, actually, he's not just famous adjacent, but he's also like consistently putting content. He's becoming famous in his own right. Anyway, let's keep going. Yeah, and then sell this, blah, blah, blah. It'll run you straight to the ground, man. Has anybody ever offered you like a major brand deal, like a Zoomies mall style thing? Yeah. Zach be the worst of them all? Well, Zach Bia technically is a promoter, so that's different as well. Like, he didn't just become, like, friends to celebrities. He was promoting, and then he slowly built his way up, and then actually became friends with Drake, and then he, like, really popped off after that. But he was always, like, a H-Wood, uh, he was always, like, the H-Wood VIP liaison. Like, there's a job that he was doing, you know what I mean? By the way, no one knows who the f no one knows who the f Zach Bia is either, for the most part, in this chat as well. But he's been a known entity... He's been a known entity in the LA nightlife scene for a very long time. And no, he's not a DJ. Shut the fuck up. He's not like he DJs now, but he was not a DJ. He was a nightclub promoter and he worked for Hwood Group and he still does work for Hwood Group. And the reason why he is known as a person or like GQ writes articles about him is because Drake rapped about him and that he is like, they just know him because, you know, he's friends with celebrities. Again, celebrities have the capacity to pump people into the stratosphere. Y'all coastal folks are weird. Just because I know all this shit doesn't mean anything, by the way. I never talk about this sort of stuff because it's completely irrelevant to my worldview or what I believe in or what I think is interesting. Why is this making you so angry? Because people get like, I don't know.
Anyway, let's keep going. Yeah, there was, uh, you know, a lot of shoe brands wanting to work with me and shit. It's just like, first of all, there's always one person who's scared and nervous and doesn't understand it, so I can't fully do what I want. I don't know. They just complicate shit trying to work with people. And what I really want to show to kids is that, like, you don't need anyone to help you, really. Like, It's interesting what you said about, like, longevity, right? Like, no matter what you do, someone's going to imitate you. If you come out with something authentic, there's going to be people who make actually successful companies, successful media companies, successful clothing companies, copying your exact style. Yeah, I see I see a lot of people copying me, you know, I just keep my mouth shut because it's like, that's my goal, I'm really trying to just inspire people, so fuck it, it's going to happen, you know? And it's like, once you start calling people out, you just look like a loser, so I know my influence, so I'm going to just keep going and just like, you know, I must be on some shit, so everyone's copying me, so, you know, whatever. People are going to copy you, you know? They're on some loser shit. I peep it, bro. I know who's copying you. They're trying to exploit New York. F them, bro. F them. What are you talking about? You know who I'm talking about, bro. We don't even got to say their name. How did you react when you first saw someone just copying your shit? You know, it's cool. It's cool. We're influencers, man. <laughs> We're influencers, bro. <laughs> That's where we get free shit for, man. Free sandwiches, right? That's why we get free sandwiches. Lions don't concern themselves with... Uh... You got to wake up and stay hungry like a tiger every day bro an army of sheep led by a lion will destroy an army of lions led by a sheep the leader is the most important thing this isn't zoomer influencer lore this is like i mean these guys are a lot younger than i am they're like probably what like eight years younger than me or maybe not i don't know i don't know how much younger than me they are but like i was like 22 when they were popping off so obviously i was i would say it's like more millennial shit how do you feel about people stealing your haircut style? I don't care. As long as, as long as I do my best, that's what matters. Tommy Wright the third, ten wanted me into the world in street smart to light a part. Devil Don Tom, internet icon. So back in the old music, you talk a lot about the devil and Satan. How many people were like really worshiping the devil associated with Memphis music at that time? It's like a lot. Of, it's not devil worshiping, but it's a lot of evil shit. You know what I'm saying? There's a lot of evil spirits, cutthroat city, cutthroat mentality. That's what Memphis is about. How did Memphis change, like, from that old school style to what it is now? Because if you think about, like, Memphis new artists, right, like Push Tysty and L.A. Chaba, it's more like Atlanta sound, like modern trap. Like, when did the, uh, like, 3-6 Tommy Wright shit kind of, like, transition? A little bit after the 2000s. It's kind of when Atlanta started to, you know, mimic our sound, you know, a lot of shit started to change. And then our city just tried to be more, you know, universal with their sound. You had that crazy peak in the 90s, but it now seems like your, your career is bigger than ever right now. Like you have more fans than of all time. Amazing. How did that happen? Like how did you pop off like 10 or 15 years after the songs first came out? Let's say what it is, man. Soundtracks and new rappers wanting to sample. Like your shows in New Orleans is like 150 skaters, all that shit like moshing. Did you, did you ever imagine when you first made those songs back in the day that that was? You know, nah, you know, I, I never thought that. But you know what? Gangsta walking is a lot like moshing, and that's what we do. Because we got that same energy, that same shit, that same pushing. We did that shit without a skateboard. <laughs> My name's Guap Dad 4000. I'm a fan of yours. Oh, hell yeah, we just watched some shit that you did, and OGZ was in it. I was on my ass laughing the whole time. He's queuing on. And you niggas is hilarious. Yeah. And this suit is crazy. Do you wear a bad suit on purpose? Uh, yeah. I figured. Where you get it from? Goodwill. I figured. You got to watch out for mothballs, man. Mothballs? Mm -hmm. They be doing, they be using them in Goodwill for real. Yeah. Why is it dangerous to have mothballs in your clothes? I said just watch out for them. I didn't necessarily merit any danger. I'm sorry if you felt that from my tone, King. No, I, Am I didn't. I being too aggressive? No, I don't think so. Damn it. <laughs> He's great, dude. What the? F did you cop any cops today? Um, what did I actually spend money on? Oh, did I bought some shoes. I like your music. Thank you. I like my music too. I like your music. I like your confidence. I like your creativity from without the music. I, I follow your stuff. Thank you. It's it's ill. What's your name, dog? Kosha Dills. Tight. I'm running a marathon tomorrow. Oh, that's why you got the whole shit going on. Well, is it a purpose? Um, I'm coming off of a, a big run off of rapping with Fat Joe in a rainstorm, and I felt that oh, internet. Oh, nigga, I've been seeing you. <laughs> I've been seeing you. I damn near follow you. 
You still got the umbrella? Yeah. Well, that's kind of weird. Check it out. All right. Beatbox, rap and fly like I have to guy. I use five hands on my finger, channel five. Do you know my rap flow? Do you know why I'm holding umbrella? It's me mimicking what happened last week at MSG with Fat Joe. I was rapping in a rainstorm. He's like, hey, bro, can I rap with you? I'm like, okay, dog, but you need an umbrella because you don't want to get real wet. I used to have hair on my head. It was impossible. Back in the day, they fill the microphone with follicles. I do it on the fast track, right through the past track. And other people say, yeah, what's the cash app? So send money now. And don't act so funny now. And Channel 5, I hope you guys like my fucking style. And if you don't have any money to borrow, send a cash app to someone else, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Cash app, the best subject to incorporate into your freestyle rhyme scheme to impress. That was the that was the roller backpack of backpack rap, dude. What is this? Please get guap dad 4000 on the show. I don't know who that is. I mean, I, I that's the dude, right? The People dude that, that was just on? I don't know. I've Complex never met him. Last, a few months ago. Uh, use code channel five for a free fifteen dollars for new users. I'm gonna have uh, my AirPods. I'm gonna listen to your music while I run. Put you on my marathon playlist. Thank you. How many miles is the total marathon? Twenty six point two. Why would so? But you still ain't say it. Why? I think I think you need to have certain different kinds of music. Like in the like beginning, nice you want to be too no, guys. Not about music. Why is you running for twenty six miles? I, I love I love running, man. It's like a journey in life. So life much is a that marathon. You need twenty six miles of it. Yeah, you need more, really. Seems I was a little bit excessive. <laughs> Channel 5, love y'all. I haven't seen this man in probably four years. Four years. But old friends, been a minute. Coach Adil's in the fucking house. We, we go way back with a guy named Tom Catchinson. Tom Catchinson? Yes. Uh, me and Tom Catchison uh, played on the high school soccer team. As I think I think he we went to Edison High School together and, and Herbert Hoover Middle School. Me and Tom, uh, we went, we went to a uh, a rock concert. 311. Yeah, 311. Remember Amber? Amber is the color of your inner dream. The Earth isn't flat, but it's hollow, and inside the uh, hollow Earth there's like giant octopus. I believe that there's water above and below us, and it's giant octopus. I believe in that shit. How'd you learn about the octopus in the Earth? I was on acid one day, and I thought about it, and I was like, if you watch The Matrix. The robots is octopus, and then I realized that the Earth is more water than anything. How can we get in touch with the? Bro, I, sometimes I do feel like there is such a thing as doing too much drugs, you know. Like at first, I'm like, there's no shot, you know, have fun, whatever. And then I just see this, and I'm like, yeah, no, there is a thing. Like, you know, maybe moderation is key. Guap Dad would want Guap Dad would 100% get on stream if he knows who you are. No, I don't think he knows who I am. Octopuses. I've He's never listened to his music eye. though. And meditate. Um, I, t I tell everybody, don't get the vaccine. Because it makes it harder to talk to the octopus? <laughs> Good one. Uh, That's it? That's how it ends? That is awesome. This, this took me on a journey, dude. Okay? This took me on a journey. Whopped out as a bunch of songs with J.I.D. and J. Cole. Did an Andrew have a mental breakdown from drugs? Oh, yeah, that's true. He did. We talked about it before. This turns me off from moving to LA next month. Dude, are you crazy? You think like this is how LA is? What, what, what are you, nuts? No, dude, this is not representative of Los Angeles at all. This is why I love Tic Tac. Right, we've made a list. These are the worst five pop categories, in our opinion. Number one. I use five hands on my finger, channel five. Hey, if you like this video, please subscribe and hit that bell so you don't miss out on any future videos. <laughs>